hello, my name is uh, Gerardo González Martin. I am 36 years old and I come from Granada, Spain. I have a bachelor's degree in environmental sciences from the University of Granada, Spain, and also a master's degree in urban uh, environmental management from Wageningen University in the Netherlands. And since uh, 2017, I have been working as a research development and innovation project manager at Biasur, which is a water engineering and technology consultancy based in Malaga, in South M Spain. In short, my job as a project manager includes uh, activities such as the preparation and negotiation and submission of project proposals, the identification and setting up of uh, consortia with different partners, and also management and of national and international projects, mainly funded by European Commission through research and innovation programs like uh, Horizon 2020 or Horizon Europe. And I'm especially involved in projects uh, related to, to environmental topics, such as nature-based solutions, climate change, adaptation and mitigation, urban solid waste management, wastewater treatment, circular economy. So when managing ongoing projects, I normally undertake these uh, technical or research activities, but also activities related to dissemination, communication or, or training activities. I think when I was uh, a child, I was ever since then passionate about nature. And I used to go to the, to the mountains every weekend. And I remember my dad used to teach me a lot about animals and birds, but also uh, to respect nature. So when I grew up, I decided to, to study something related, something like biology. But uh, at the time I had to decide what to do when I, when I would start university, I decided to study environmental sciences. And uh, I, I got this, uh, this uh, tips from some, some friends that it had more uh, career prospects uh, and it covered a larger number of topics. So I decided to study that degree. And after moving to the Netherlands, I did my uh, master's degree in uh, urban environmental management. And then I collaborated with a research institute for a few months. And there I had the opportunity to participate in an ongoing European project. And I think it was at that moment that I realized I wanted to learn and get trained to become a project manager so I could participate in innovative projects uh, at, inter at international level that could have a major impact in, in the environment and also in our society. Well, as a project manager, uh, my typical working day uh, is, is the following. I, I spend a lot of time uh, work with specific tasks assigned within the, within the ongoing projects I'm involved in. So this includes uh, undertaking research and technical activities, but also dissemination activities, uh, because we, we also participate in a lot of webinars and meetings, uh, which are uh, regularly organized. Uh, so before the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, I used to travel abroad quite, oft, quite often as well to participate in, in project meetings or to attend the relevant, relevant events and conferences for networking, for example. And besides uh, these activities um, that I have to carry out for the ongoing projects, I'm also involved in the preparation and submission of project proposals either for third parties uh, or for ourselves. So this is also a very time consuming activity, uh, especially when the deadline for the submission gets uh, closer. So this is kind of my, my typical working day. I remember my first uh, decision about my study path uh, was when I was at high school and I decided to take a scientific technological itinerary, which included specific subjects uh, like physics and chemistry and, and so on. Then I got to university. I did my bachelor's degree in environmental sciences. And after completing my degree, I moved to England to, to, to do a Leonardo da Vinci scholarship. And that gave me the opportunity to work as a trainee for six months in an environmental NGO 
once I came back to Spain, I applied for another scholarship from my regional government, and this time was for postgraduate studies. So after one year preparing for this scholarship, I was finally granted and got accepted at the University of Wageningen in the Netherlands. And then I did there my two years uh, master's degree. Then um, I had the opportunity to do a traineeship uh, in a large environmental engineering and consultancy there in the Netherlands during four months. And afterwards I was collaborating also in a research institute in, in Wageningen. Um, so after my, st my, my stay in this uh, research institute, I've been working in uh, some other organizations such as uh, International Water Management Institute or uh, European Agency for uh, Global Navigation of uh, Satellite Systems in the Czech Republic. And finally, I, I joined uh, Biasul, my current company, four years ago. Uh, this is where I currently work. If I could start all over again, um, honestly, I don't think I would change anything substantially because I think uh, back at that moment, uh, I considered any decision carefully. So I spent some time thinking it through. Uh, perhaps I, I would have appreciated having more working experience uh, during my studies, something that, that was related to my studies, uh, like a short traineeship or uh, some kind of uh, scholarship uh, where I could get my hands uh, dirty at, at that time. In terms of my colleagues, uh, I think they, they have followed similar, similar uh, paths. Um, we are actually a multidis multidisciplinary team. So most of them have studied natural science degrees like chemistry, biology, environmental sciences. Uh, chemical engineering, marine sciences. So they all have a, a background in natural sciences, but I also have some colleagues uh, with a background in economics or marketing and, and so on. So some of them have also spent some time abroad uh, working and, and studying. So yeah, we have similar uh, career paths. In terms of uh, professional personal skills, uh, definitely you need some managerial skills, both in terms of uh, negotiation and project management. Negotiating is uh, really important uh, and you need to, 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 to reach agreement with uh, partners. This is essential in the preparation of any project proposal where you have to consider financial and technical aspects. And at the same time, project management skills uh, will allow you to consider all the administrative and financial communication and technical aspects of any project in order to, to deliver the expected outcomes and the results. Uh, then you need also research skills, which is essential to participate in this type of uh, research and development projects uh, because you want to prepare successful proposals. So you need to be up to date with the latest developments and the, the latest regulations in force. And you need to read a lot of uh, research documents and scientific papers. Then I think in terms of communication and skills, uh, most of the projects I participate in are collaborative projects in which uh, you have a lot of partners and you have to carry out uh, an agreed work plan with them. So collaboration is essential and you need to to be able to present as well you need uh, presentation translation and writing skills as well uh, we usually prepare and give presentations uh, either online or in person to present your projects your activities your results so my part of my, my job consists in in writing but also presenting the results you need to write uh, technical reports you need to prepare communication and dissemination activities and and so on and when it comes to personal skills and social skills, I think uh, adaptability to work in different environments uh, is essential because you will be working with a diverse group of uh, people from different backgrounds, from different cultures. Motivation, time management and commitment is also very important to deliver all the outputs and the results to your clients and you have to meet uh, tight deadlines. And finally, I think uh, Team spirit is also very important 
because uh, we usually work in a multidisciplinary company. Oh, I, I always work in a multidisciplinary company, but sometimes also with external groups. And uh, you constantly learn from each other. So it, it is very important to, to work in teams, and, but also individually. So I would say these are the most important skills. The type of jobs and industry sectors uh, you can work uh, with my skills or with these skills, I think are obviously related to research and development project management, uh, either for private companies or for public entities. Uh, I think you can also work in environmental consulting and, and research, either for uh, private companies or research institutes or even academia. Then um, you are uh, prepared as well to work on, on fields such as solid waste management, water management, uh, nature conservation, uh, climate change adaptation and mitigation. And finally, I think another uh, um, sector where you can uh, work would be education. Education and training would be also uh, a good sector with uh, to 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 develop your career with with this uh, with these skills. The main challenges in my job, uh, I would summarize it in in five uh, challenges. The first one is meeting uh, tight deadlines, either ex in external deadlines or internal deadlines. And this requires you a lot of commitment and time management. Uh, then communication with uh, large groups of uh, partners and people sometimes from diverse uh, backgrounds and cultures. This can be, this can be time consuming, uh, requires a lot of dedication as well. Then sometimes uh, you find yourself with a high workload and working under pressure because uh, you need to, to prepare and submit uh, project proposals uh, at specific times in the year. So this is also uh, a very time consuming uh, uh, task. Then uh, when working in several projects that uh, they are having different conditions and different specifications, or they, they are also related to different topics, this requires a lot of uh, organization and coordination uh, if you want to be effective. So that, that can be challenging as well. And finally, um, working in, in a multidisciplinary team with partners and institutions from all over Europe uh, can be challenging sometimes if uh, there is no uh, good communication with them. I would advise students to, to be open-minded and to explore and try different jobs and working environments, because I think this will help them to slowly narrow down options along their career and choose the path that uh, will finally make them happy. Uh, they shouldn't worry about spending time doing this, and they should not consider this explorative process as a waste of time. This, because I think at, at the end of the day, uh, this will uh, give them a lot of insights and valuable experiences. So for me, it was uh, also very important to study and work abroad, especially if you, if you would like to eventually work in a similar field, international field. So I would recommend them to do the same, uh, preferably in an English speaking country or somewhere where they can practice uh, and improve their language skills because nowadays, nowadays it's, a, it's a key tool and this will open a lot of doors uh, in the future. Besides, this is, a, this is a working language at European level. So this would be my, my advice for, for students. I think nature-based solutions are important because they deliver uh, not only environmental benefits, but also socioeconomic benefits. And at the same time, um, they can address multiple uh, societal challenges like climate change, adaptation and mitigation. And in addition, um, I think the design, the implementation and the maintenance of these solutions 
usually require the participation of a large number of disciplines and expertise. So this can translate into new uh, job positions and, and generate economic opportunities. So um, if you, if you uh, think about nature-based activities like agroforestry or ecosystem restoration or maintenance of green areas, uh, they can generate a wide uh, range of careers and jobs from, from low skill entry level to high skill jobs. So I've even seen um, uh, job vacancies uh, looking for experts and specialists in nature-based solutions. So I think there is a lot of future in this field. And obviously it is gaining more and more attention from, from the whole world.